What's up, YouTube? My name's Jen Winston. I'm a writer and digital creator. And in this series, I'm gonna to talk to you about something that I'm totally obsessed with, men. I'm talking to a bunch of different men about how masculinity has affected their sense of self. Hi, Luke. Thank you for coming in today. Hi. It's so good to meet you. I was raised in a Muslim household and a little bit of an African household, a little bit of, you know, being raised by the streets of Ohio. I don't know how much you know about, you know, Hispanic men, but it's very much a male-dominated world. Korean men had a very specific mannerism, quiet, bordering shyness, but never crossing that, crossing that line. Men are also held to extreme body standards and they're taught that they shouldn't share their feelings or that they'll be bullied for being weak. I identify as a trans man. Let's put it this way, pre-T, I drove a pickup truck and I was dating the most femme women that I could date. I was really trying to validate my masculinity. I personally didn't feel like I was meeting up to like this sort of like sexual drive that a lot of people around me were having. But I had this feeling once I was like, oh, am I asexual? That was like my mind was like, click, that makes sense. I wanna talk about your MS diagnosis. Mm -hmm. It was a shock. One of the more selfish things that popped into my mind right away because we're talking about masculinity was, am I going to be able to have sex with my wife? Am I going to be able to perform? How does it feel to be a white guy? The privilege is insane. Even when I was identifying as a butch lesbian, I had more privilege than, you know, I know any POC person ever did. And then now you're adding masculinity on top of that identity. All I want to do is like, truly help people. If I'm not using my privilege to help others, like, yeah. screw me. That's such a great note to end on. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>